Greetings and welcome to the tutorial. Today we're going to cover importing contacts into Google Maps. It's a surprisingly simple process, but the reason I'm creating this video is there's so many of them that weren't very clear and they're actually somewhat confusing. So I'll kind of explain what we're gonna do here through a few slides and then we'll uh, just show you how to do it in a live demonstration. The first thing you need to do is export your contacts. You can export them from Microsoft Outlook, a CRM, or just whatever by whatever method, just get your contacts into an Excel or CSV file. Exporting your contacts from Outlook is not terribly difficult, but there's quite a few steps. Basically, I'll cover those here in a moment. Uh, there's several steps you go through to finally create your, your file. Again, it's gonna be a CSV file if it's coming from Outlook, but Excel or CSV both work for the import. You can also export your, your data from CRM programs. I use a, a program called Profit CRM for Outlook. Now it's got a very easy user interface to export data from the CRM database right into Excel. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll go right into exporting from uh, Outlook. So first of all, you have to have the Outlook desktop version and when you're in it, you'll go up to the file section here and you're gonna see one of the options is open and export. So we're gonna choose from that menu here, import and export. And then we're going to select from this menu, export to a file, very important. Click the next button and we want comma separated values, also known as CSV format. So we click next after selecting that. And here you'll see all the different folders in your, your profile. And what you wanna do is you wanna find the contact folder that you wanna export. So in this case, we have a lot of different folders. I'm just gonna go ahead and go into a folder here under my uh, inbox called contacts. It's the default folder in Outlook. And uh, you'll see that you can select any folder that you might've created in Outlook, but I'm gonna just select the one called contacts. So I click next and you wanna browse to where you simply wanna save that file. I have a, a location already in mind. I have a folder called contacts to map on Google. So I save that file. I'll give it a number two designation, click OK. Now, the next thing you do is you're going to export just using the standard Outlook fields because what we're really looking for are first name, last name, uh, phone number, address, city, state, zip, and those are all part of your Outlook format. Other, so we don't have to go into mapping custom fields. You just click finish, and this will export your contacts into a file that you just selected. To export these from a uh, CRM program, I'll just show you how it works in Profit, but most, most all CRMs have an export to Excel function. Uh, Profit certainly does. And again, that's, that is a CRM that's embedded in Microsoft Outlook. So let's just go back into our CRM program and Profit is just a set of folders. And all we really do is click on the contact manager folder and it will bring up your different lists of contacts. You select the list that you want from this dropdown. Make sure it has the full name, address, city, state, zip. Those are the, the types of data we'll need. And then you sim click, simply click the green Excel button, select all rows or selected rows, and that creates your file, which in the case of Profit is an Excel file. Pretty easy to do. Now, once we have those contacts saved in Excel, we're gonna import those contacts into Google Maps. You first have to either have a Google account, which is done by creating a Gmail account or simply create one. It's free as you probably know. And you go to this URL. I'll just paste it into my browser and you can see it takes us right to where we need to be. And that screen will look like this. It's called My Maps. It's a free function of the Google suite of uh, applications. And you just simply click Get Started. Now from here, you wanna go up to the left and you wanna create a new map. So to create a new map, you click on that button, create a new map, and then you will see a little link that says import. And this is where we wanna click it. And we're going to either drag that folder into this window, or you can just click the blue button and select from a file. So I have exported a list of, let's say manufacturing contacts, and this will upload those contacts into the mapping system. And this is where you're gonna choose your columns to position the place marks. So I'm gonna actually choose all of these here and click continue. 
And then this is what's going to flash up as a marker once you've mapped them. I'll choose the company name in this case, but you remember on this one, you can only choose one, one selection here because it's going to be the label that pops up as you'll see. Click finish. And then these contacts will be imported into, oh, into your Google Maps. It's really that simple. But there's a little bit more to it. And it's not terribly intuitive, but you go to this little uh, marker. It's like a paint roller and, and a link that says uniform style. And this is where you can do things like give it a, um, oh, let's select the data by company, for example. And then you can select, um, for example, what categories you want, maybe the city state, I'll do company again. And now you can see that all of those, those uh, contacts on my Google Maps have the label that I just selected company. Pretty awesome. You can group them other ways. You can group them by city or state. Um, and that's just completely up to you as to what you're, what you're looking to do. And when you group them by state, you'll notice that they come up color coded. So all of the contacts in a certain state have a, the same color. Pretty awesome. So that's how you import contacts into Google Maps. I hope you've uh, appreciated the video today. Thanks, and we'll talk to you again soon.